Hello, my friends. Hope all you're doing well. Welcome back to my Southern Kitchen. Hope all y'all had a wonderful Easter. Today, I'm going to share with all of y'all a classic down-home cake in the South. Hummingbird cake. And a hummingbird cake is like a carrot cake, but instead of carrots, we're going to add in bananas, pineapple, and nuts. And frost with a cream cheese frosting. Mm -mm. How yummy does that sound? And my friends, it is the bomb.com delicious. And as always, it is so simple and easy to make. And if y'all never had a hummingbird cake, y'all are in for a treat. And this is a great springtime dessert. Everybody's going to love and enjoy this cake. And I'll post a complete recipe along with the instructions down below in the description box. And also check out my cake recipes playlist and my previous video, Candy Carrots. I'll post a link to both of those down below in the description box. So grab your pineapple, your nuts, your flour, and mash up those bananas, sugar, because we're about to bake some hummingbird cake magic in my southern kitchen. Here we go. All right, my friends, in my bowl, I have four ripe bananas. And we're gonna mash them up. All right, my friends, I'm through mashing up my bananas and this is what they look like. That looks great. So now we're gonna set them aside while we work on our other ingredients. In my large bowl, I have three cups of all-purpose flour. And we're going to add in one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoon of ground cinnamon. I'm going to sift these together. Into the flour mixture, we're going to add in four extra large eggs at room temperature. And one cup of cinnamon flavor applesauce. Going to make our cake give it extra flavor. Going to mix these all together until they're well incorporated. All right, my friends, this is what the batter looks like. I know it looked dry, but we're going to add the rest of the ingredients that are going to bring our cake to life. We're going to add in one and a half cups of white sugar and a half a cup of packed light brown sugar. One and a half teaspoons of pure vanilla extract. One eight ounce can of crushed pineapple along with the juice. A half a cup of chopped pecans or you can use walnuts or a mixture of both. And the mashed bananas. I'm going to mix all these ingredients together until they're well combined. All right. I'm going to go ahead and finish mixing up my batter and I'll bring you back. All right, my friends, I'm through mixing up my batter and this is what it looked like. Smooth and silky and look at the pecans and the pineapple. Mmm, smells good. And I can smell the cinnamon. And how simple and easy is that? And no mixer required. Alrighty, that looks great. Now we're ready to pour them into our pans. We're going to pour them into three nine inch round cake pans that are greased with baking spray. And this is what it looks like. You want to use the baking spray with flour. All right, so now I'm going to shake them and bang them to get the air bubbles out. Alrighty, now we're ready to put our cakes in the oven. We're going to put them in the preheated 375 degree oven and we're going to let them bake for about 25 to 30 minutes. And I'll bring you back. Alright my friends, I have taken my cakes out of the oven. Mmm, smells heavenly. They're nice and golden brown. So now we're going to let the cakes cool in the pan for about 20 minutes and then after 20 minutes I'm gonna remove them from the pan and we're gonna let them cool completely on the wire rack and while they're cooling I'm gonna go ahead and get started on a luscious cream cheese frosting. In my large bowl I have two eight ounce packages of cream cheese and one cup which is two sticks of unsalted butter and they're both at room temperature 
And we're going to cream these on medium speed until they're fluffy. All right, my friends, two hour cream cheese and butter. We're going to add in two teaspoons of pure vanilla extract. Going to continue mixing until it's well incorporated. All right, my friends, next we're going to slowly add in two pounds of powdered sugar. That's it. I'm going to go ahead and finish mixing up my icing and I'll bring you back. All right, my friends, I'm through mixing up my frostings nice and smooth and the cakes is nice and cool. We're ready to ice them. So I'll place one of my cakes on my cake plate. I'm going to dollop some frosting on top. And I'm going to ice the top like so so now i have placed my middle layer on top and again we're going to dollop some frosting and again we're going to spread it all over now we're going to put the final layer on top Add some frosting and spread it evenly again. All right, and now we're going to just ice the sides like so. All right, I'm going to go ahead and finish icing my cake and I'll bring you back. All right, my friends, I'm through icing my cake. Now it's time for the final step. We're going to add on some chopped pecans right on top. Or you can use walnuts. Alrighty, so now we're going to gently slide the wax paper off. Just like that. Isn't that pretty? And there you have it, my friends. Southern Hummingbird Cake. Don't that look good? So now I'm about to fix me up a plate and I'll give it a taste. My friends, look at this beautiful Southern Slice of Hummingbird Cake. Mmm, I can't wait to dig in. Now it's time for the best part, the tasting. Here we go. Oh, yeah, beautiful texture. Mm-mm, look at that. Have a bite. Mmm. Super moist. Has great balance of flavor. I can taste the bananas and the pineapple and the cinnamon. And I love that crunch from the pecans. And that cream cheese frosting is divine. This hummingbird cake is fantastic, my friends. Please give this recipe a try. This deserves another bite. Mm -mm. Yum O. Hummingbird Cake Licious. My friends, I want to thank all y'all for watching and joining me in my southern kitchen today. If you enjoyed this video recipe, please give it a thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to share this with your family and friends. Like, comment, subscribe to my channel, and click on the bell so that way you'll be notified when my new videos come out. Also, hashtag Ellen's Homemade Lights on Facebook or Instagram. 
and to purchase a cookbook along with your picture, please send me an email, ellenshomemadedelights at gmail.com. I would love to see your beautiful creations with my recipes. And I'll see you next time. Let's eat and much love.